hot. Good morning. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog is gonna be a really fun one. I haven't done a vlog like this in a really long time, which is kind of crazy because I made a lot of these and did a lot of this activity. I feel like when I first started YouTube. In today's video, I am gonna go thrifting. Oh my God, finally. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm excited too. That's what we're gonna do. You and I are gonna have a fun day. We're gonna go out and we're gonna hit some different thrift stores. It's beautiful outside today. It is sunny and I'm feeling good. I'm really excited about this. Get out of the house, get some fresh air, touch some grass. I don't know what to expect, especially in terms of prices because the few thrift stores I have been to, some things are like really normally priced for thrift stores like kind of comparable to the ones back home in Pennsylvania. There are other like random things that are so much more than you would expect to be paying at a thrift store. We're gonna go and we're gonna see what is up and what they have. Hopefully I find some cute things. I don't even know exactly what I'm looking for. I know kind of the vibe of the outfits that I've been putting together lately. So at least I have like a good picture of that in my head. I don't have any specific pieces that I am looking for. I'm kind of just keeping an open mind. I don't know if I necessarily need any more jackets. I have that issue. I always tend to gravitate towards the jacket section, especially at thrift stores because they're so cool and unique and like some of them are vintage and they're just like really good statement pieces for an outfit. So no promises. No promises, but it's fine. I also asked my family if they like wanted me to look out for anything for them. I just really love thrift shopping. I don't necessarily need a ton of stuff myself but I'm like, I'm happy to go and look for other people just because I enjoy the experience. I've said this before, but I feel like it's like a treasure hunt, searching through everything to like find those gem pieces. I donate all of my clothes to thrift stores when I don't like want or need them anymore. So I feel like it's just like the circle of life. It's beautiful. I have three stores specifically that I want to hit today. They're kind of scattered around lower Manhattan. One of them is actually a bookstore and I wanted to include it anyway because they do have some like used books. It's still partially a thrift store, but I'm really excited to go to that store because it's iconic. I should also say, I've never been to any of these places. I really am trying to make it a point to try new things as often as possible and go to places like seek out places that I haven't been before. I'm a creature of habit. I like, you know, what I already know. And when I find things that I like or places that I like, I just keep going back because they are reliable and comforting to me, but it's time to explore. But before we can leave, I need to pick out an outfit and I thought that we could do that together. I love watching TikToks of people putting together outfits and like picking out their outfit of the day. I'm like, why not try that here on this channel? I've done that before, why am I saying try? Right, Charlie? Let's pick out an outfit. Due to the weather, I don't know what to wear. Of course, I'm stepping right on the one floorboard that's like extremely creaky. The weather is confusing me and I don't know how to dress for this. It says today's high is 52, which in theory is beautiful, but right now it's 45. I don't think that I need to wear my parka today. Let's see, I can work with that. I have an idea of what I could wear, like a go-to type of thing. I'm thinking potentially this. I love this sweatshirt. This is a mock neck champion sweatshirt. I got this actually from a thrift store. I wear high necklines so much that when I don't wear high necklines, I feel exposed and incredibly uncomfortable, which is something I should probably work on, especially because when the spring and summer is coming up, I can't always be wearing, I can't wear turtlenecks. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess I could. Obviously still gonna need to wear a jacket of some sort, but I'm kind of thinking can y'all still see me over here? I could wear this one, my brown vest. This one is from Aritzia. This is the super puff vest. I very much splurged on this, but in my defense, it is absolutely perfect, I think, for days like this, hopefully. You know, on days like today, kind of like in the middle of cold and like not so cold, I'm like, I don't wanna sweat my ass off while I'm walking all up and around the city but I also want to be warm. So since my arms are free, it like, you know what I mean? I love this vest so much. So I might wear this over top of that. And if I do, I might wear these shoes. The last time I wore this vest, I also wore these shoes. They don't exactly match the colors, but 
if you hold them far enough away like they would be on my body, you can't really tell. These are my brown Converse. They're the platform ones. I got these ones for Christmas. And then in terms of pants, this is where I have issues because I hate pants. Let me, give me a second. So I'm, I might wear these. I'm gonna try these on with the outfit. These used to be my actual go-to jeans. These are from Urban Outfitters. They're the BDG high-rise baggy jeans. And I think this wash would look nice with this combination I have going on right now. And then I'll probably wear some gold jewelry. I don't know. Let's put this on, see how we feel. Okay, I ended up switching. Oh my God, this looks insane. I ended up switching the white mock neck for this like kind of cream off-white hoodie instead because I felt like the bright white of this didn't really go with the shoes. They're not bright white. They're kind of like a dirty white off white situation. So I think that this matches better. So this is the outfit that I have right now. What the mother f are you doing that for? Now for accessories. I might wear my chunky gold hoop earrings. Maybe I could wear a choker. <laughs> I already have a necklace on. I don't know if this is like too much. I don't know. I think the hair's throwing me off. It looks like shit. Let me go put these earrings in and put some rings on. I'll be back. This looks so much better with my hair in a top knot. One of the biggest perks, probably like one of the only perks at this point of having my hair be as long as it is right now is I can just throw it up into a top knot. And because I have so much hair, it just sits nicely. Love that. So I put my earrings in, some gold rings. And I am wearing this little necklace. It has an H on it. I actually was sent this in my PO box, which is so nice. Her name is Abby and her business is Abby's Beads Jewelry. And that's gonna be the fit. I actually really like it. I think it's cute, it's simple, it's comfy. I also, I'm gonna change my phone case because I think that this one, I don't even do this. Like change my phone case to like match my outfit, but I kind of think this one is the vibe today. Oh my god, this is such a vibe. Yes! All right, so <laughs> this is the fit. This phone case is from Casetify, of course. And Casetify is actually sponsoring this video, thank god. So thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. I've been using Casetify cases for years. I've had them sent to me, which is incredibly kind. I'm very grateful. And I've also bought them with my own money. My family has bought them with their own money. I always have a Casetify case on my phone. My favorite thing about them is that you don't have to sacrifice style for protection or vice versa because their cases are super protective and they also have so many different really cute styles that you can get so i got a new phone last fall this is the iphone 13 pro and of course i am protecting it with case defy cases case defy's chi tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet for the ultra impact cases the cases are also wireless charging and 5g compatible i just got 5g for the first time ever when i got a new phone in the fall I love it. Like I said, Caseify carries a huge variety of phone cases to fit your every mood and really to fit any style. There is something for everybody. You can also personalize a phone case with your favorite font and design layout for a truly custom case. Also something that's really cool is that Caseify's new impact and ultra impact cases are made from 65% recycled material. So it says here on the side, this case is made from 65% recycled material. The impact and ultra impact cases are also 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. And Casetify's cases offer something called Defensify, which is essentially an antimicrobial coating. And that kills 99% of bacteria and prevents new bacteria from sticking to the case surface. I cannot recommend Casetify enough. Honestly, every time someone asks where my phone cases are from, it's always Casetify. So if you would like to check out Casetify for yourself, you can go to casetify.com slash Hannah Elise and get 15% off of a new phone case for yourself. And they also make great gifts for friends or family for literally any occasion. And thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. I love you. All right, I'm finally all ready to leave. It takes me so long to leave the house. Grabbed my tote bag, filled it with everything I need for today. This one is just from Urban Outfitters. I've had this for a while. I always carry a tote bag walking around the city. My tote bag also has one pin and it's David from Schitt's Creek. The girls that get it, get it. We're gonna go have some fun. Our first stop of the day is in the West Village. So I'm gonna go head there now and I'll talk to you when I arrive.
Yeah. Yes. Guys, I am sitting here drinking coffee and I just met Rosie. <laughs> the sweetest thank you so much for saying hi. Of course, I'm so happy I found you. Everybody has been so nice here so far today. It's also already 2 p.m., which is extremely concerning because I've only been to one of the three places that I was planning on going, but of course I needed a coffee break. It is a gorgeous day. I'm so glad that I just wore this vest. The next place that we're gonna go is the Strand Bookstore. It's the bookstore I told you guys about, and that is, I think, technically in the East Village. We're in the West Village right now, so I need to start walking, and I'm really excited to check out the Strand. I also forgot to mention that I did get two things at that thrift store. I will be doing a haul later. Stay tuned. which is gonna be Cure Thrift, also in the East Village. It's just down the street. So, I'm gonna walk over there now. I'm gonna fix my hair. thing that I did upon walking in the doors after dropping my bags on the floor is just immediately ripping my clothing off and throwing it on the ground and putting on comfier clothes because I am sweating. I mean, did I just put on another sweatshirt? Yeah, but I have like a tank top under it so I can take it off. It's five o'clock. The sun is going down. I'm getting nervous. I want to do my little haul. I feel like you guys saw most of what I got. Like I really didn't get that much stuff, but I wanted to do like a real haul before the sun completely sets. God, I have so much to say. I had such a nice day today. I, ugh, wow. The weather was gorgeous. My hoodie and vest combination was perfect. Tons of people out. The energy was just really good and like, ugh, I don't know. It was a really nice day. I keep with my eyelashes, but there's something in my eye on my contact. I'm treating my contacts out, hold on. I have never felt better in my life than I do right now. Oh my God. Taking out your contacts, especially when they're irritating your eyeballs. The girls that get it, get it. If 
feel free. So let's do a little haul. So the first place that I went to was Housing Works in the West Village. The store was very quaint. It was super small, so there really wasn't a ton of selection, but I did end up finding two things. One of them was for me, and then one of them was actually for my brother. I thought it was really cool, so I picked that up for him. I really, really like this sweater. I got this for myself, obviously. It's just this really, really cute, simple, like cream sweater from Aerie. The sleeves are cool. Let me put it on. That's why I have the tank top on under this so that I can try show on for you. This sweater was actually new with tags. Like the tag is literally still on it. So I got this for 20 bucks, which for a thrift store is a lot. Part of me is like, that's kind of what I get for moving to New York City. But I'm also like, what the f But this was brand new and in amazing condition. It's really freaking cute. And I could see myself wearing this a bunch of different ways. I kind of like that it's a little bit tighter fitting because I don't really have anything that's tighter fitting. Like all the clothes that I own are boxier fitting. I think that it is simple and it's definitely an amazing basic. And I actually don't own any sweaters like this. Surprisingly, I thought that this would be a worthwhile purchase for me and I do not regret it The other thing I got at this one was for my brother. I saw this and I just thought it was really cool It is this North Face vest like zip up vest. It's in immaculate condition It literally looks like it was never even worn. This was $35 which is really not bad for a jacket in this condition, like a North Face jacket, it looks like it was never worn. I'm really happy about this, and I think that he will really like it. The next place that I went was the bookstore. There's so much to unpack about the bookstore. I, I have never been so overwhelmed. There is just so much to see there. They have everything. I couldn't even like estimate how many books that they have in that store. There were like multiple floors. They had merch everywhere. They had other random shit. They had every single book ever. I feel like I was there for at least an hour just walking around and looking at stuff. I don't know, I guess this te it technically isn't a thrift store. It's literally just a massive ass bookstore but I still thought it was fun and cool and I was really excited about it. So I ended up buying this book, only $8, called I Found You by Lisa Jewell. So I got this and I'm really excited to read it. I love books like this. I think this is one of the like mystery, like twisty book. I love ones like that. Those are probably my favorite books to read. The second thing that I got there was a candle. Groundbreaking. Which I am so excited about. It's called Bedtime Stories and it's actually by the bookstore. Like so Strand like makes candles too, I guess. Like what the f don't they do? But it's really cool. So it's just this and it says Strand Books on it. It just smells really nice. It smells calming to me. So I got that too. I thought that was fun and obviously like unique. I don't think I'd be able to find this anywhere else. All right, so then the last store that I went to was the Cure Thrift Store, okay? Upon entering, I just have never seen a more beautiful thrift store. The aesthetic in there, the vibe, it was just so nicely designed and curated and the different little sections were just so like put together so well and so it was just very pleasing to look at. I quickly realized by looking at the tags, the prices weren't so pleasing. And you know what? Cure Thrift, if you're watching this, I, please don't take offense. I am sorry. Thrift stores don't charge $50 for a button down shirt. They don't. You know, I saw some things that I liked and if I saw them at another thrift store, like Goodwill, for example, back home and it was four or $5, yeah, of course I would have bought them, but I couldn't do it. I was like, I don't know who is paying this much for like a t-shirt. Oh my God, I saw a Syracuse hoodie. I don't remember exactly how much it was. I took a video of the price tag because I could not believe it. Like I have seen like that exact sweatshirt at Goodwill for $5. I was just blown away. Despite that, I still walked out of there with three things, actually four things. I got a shot glass. This was $3, which is probably too much, but I don't actually own any shot glasses. So this will be helpful, you know? I got two things for myself, clothing wise, and then I got one thing for my dad. I was on the lookout for some short sleeve polos. My mom said that he needed those and he didn't have many of them. And I found this one and it is really, really nice. The color's really nice. It's a Ralph Lauren polo. Spoiler alert, I did get the damn button up shirt. I don't wanna talk about it right now. Listen, I know, I feel like a clown. This is literally from Victoria's Secret. I didn't even know that they made, so I'm like, is this a sleep shirt? Even if it is, I don't give a fuck because I love this shirt. Are you guys joking right now? Like, 
what? This green color is everything. You could obviously wear it like open and flowy or whatever in like warmer months or you could, you know, button it and then maybe layer like a turtleneck or something under it for cooler months. Like you can wear this all the time. And this color, this like muted sage green, whatever color this is, it's just so neutral and it's versatile and I, I love it. It's extremely comfortable and like silky soft. I'm not proud of how much I paid for this. I'm really not. And I don't even, I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm not even gonna tell you. I don't want to because I don't want people to shit on me. I did what I thought was the best for me. I only buy things that I feel like are gonna be versatile in my wardrobe. Like I'm not just buying random shit. Why am I explaining myself? It's a shirt, like really. And then the last thing that I got, you guys also saw me try on, was this absolutely to die for blazer. I have no words. Let me give you a better angle so you can see. This is not a better angle. It is long. I love it. I love it. Another thing that you can dress up or down. I, You guys know how I feel about jackets and blazers. This was 50% off. So I will disclose that this was $37, I think. Which, you know, for a thrift store, a lot. It's amazing quality and I fell in love with it immediately. And it was on sale. So I have no regrets about that either. And I know I'll wear it because this is the exact type of shit that I wear all the time. These are the colors that I wear always. Like I don't wear other colors than neutrals and browns and whatnot. So it'll get its use. That is it for my little haul. Hi, sorry about the lighting. Is this better? No, this is fine. I forgot that I still need to end this video. It's now 11 o'clock. I am so tired. I had so much fun today and I just loved doing these activities. This is a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun too. Let me know like more topics for videos like these if you want me to go out and do like certain things around the city or anything like that. If you have any suggestions, like please feel free to leave them down below. I'm always open to suggestions and ideas for future content. And yeah, with that being said, that is gonna be the end of today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when I post a new video, make sure I turn on my post notifications for my channel, it's a little bell icon so you never miss an upload and you get notified right when a new video goes live. And again, thank you so much to Case Defy for sponsoring today's video. I highly recommend them. If you guys want to check out Case Defy, you can go to the link in my description. It's going to be casedefy.com slash Hannah Elise and you can get 15% off of your order if you go through that link. And yeah, I think that's it. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.